all things are possible. According to Acts 2, Peter is quoting Psalm 16 and seems to make Psalm 16 about Jesus when David seems to be talking about himself, hell. Yeah, I, I deal with that in volume three of answering Jewish objections to Jesus. David is talking about himself, but beyond. In other words, what Peter's saying is that David in the spirit sees beyond his own life and says, you won't let your Holy One see corruption. So it, it, it doesn't seem to mean simply you, you won't let me die prematurely, but somehow you're gonna preserve me from death. In other words, as he sees his own life, as he sees his own future, as, as he looks ahead, he sees himself escaping the corruption of death. And what's he actually seeing? He's seeing the Messiah. And the Messiah is an extension of his life. The Messiah is actually called David in passages like uh, Ezekiel 30, uh, 34. All right. So in that sense, his, his own life continues through his offspring. It's a very Hebraic way of seeing things. And when he sees the resurrection of the Messiah, and, and that's what he's prophesying, he may not have had full understanding that may have been his own self-perception of his future identity, but it was the reality of Messiah's resurrection he was seeing. And because David did die, and his body did suffer corruption, but not the Messiah.